into the windup and the pitch. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep too. High and deep down the left field line. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. On a big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. That is third. Next the up third is Yohan Moncada. Yohan. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now here's the pitch. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. And it's gone. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. Batting four. The left fielder. Aloy. Into Jimenez. the box, Elo Jimenez. As he's well in front of the curveball and comes up empty there for strike one. And now time is called for and granted by home flood umpire Clyde Washington. The windup and the 0 1. Everything this guy throws moves. That two seamer has a mind of its own. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Drilled to the left side. Reined in. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Brings in Tommy Edmond. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading up for St. Louis. Not shortstop. Tommy. Edmund. Here's the pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. No balls. One strike. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So bases are empty with one out now. And into bat next will be Tyler O'Neill. Tyler. First offering. Oh, yeah. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So the bases are empty here that with two good. gone. And that'll the bring in Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado. Keiko sets his sights. First pitch on the way. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. That evens it up one and one. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. So with two away, Paul Goldschmidt gets a chance following the base hit. Batting four. The first baseman, Paul. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now as he takes a cold strike on the black. It's 0 and 1. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. A ball and a strike to the Cardinals first baseman. The 1 1 is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, Matt. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. 
Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up Yasmani Grandal. The catcher. Yasmani Grandal. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Bader is there. One pitch, one out. So next to hit is Jose Abreu. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. A ball and a strike now to Jose Abreu. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. And now before the one two, time is called at home plate. That one misses badly. It's ball two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal, you can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Zach Collins waits on deck. High and deep to right center. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. And now Zach Collins. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And now the first pitch. In there at the knees. Strike one. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. Hey, that's a well executed pitch right there. That might have started middle, but you saw it breaking away to that outer part of the zone. This left handed batter right here has got two decisions to make. Is he going to ground out to second base all day, or is he going to drive the ball the other way? Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in the second baseman. We got the second baseman. Outfield shaded a bit to left center of the first pitch. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Oh, and that looked like the very definition of flailing there. It's even at one. The one one is looked at for ball number two. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. That is good. So now That's here is hitter. Matt Carpenter. Matt Carpenter. From the belt, the pitch, a called strike to the 35 year old veteran. Nothing in one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Working for the punch out and the offering. This one's flared out toward left. Jimenez coming in, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. And he scurries back to first base safely. Stepping up is Dylan that Carlson. Is first swings right for him in this one with a runner Dylan. still at first and one gone. Carlson. From the belt, the pitch. <laughs> 0 and 1, here it comes. Oh, Nearly man. got the inside, but ruled the ball. 
And there he goes towards second. And they'll run him down and tag him for the out. White Sox are out to an early 1-0 lead as we play the second. And a sinker called strike three as he's rung up and the side is retired. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Leori Garcia. First pitch on its way. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. Batting up. Stepping in next, Adam Eaton. Adam Eaton. First offering. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Long run for the right fielder. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. And the next to bat will be Tim Anderson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Tim Anderson. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Wind up and the 0 1. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him, and I doubt there was any intent behind that. The batter will be Luis Robert. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Robert. Now the first pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. Saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung at a bad one there. Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. Anderson leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Ripped down the line, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. From the belt, the pitch swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Again, a one two. Anderson's running. Here's a pop up now. Edmund waits on it, and that will end the inning. for the last half of the inning and here now is the Leading catcher Yadier Molina. The catcher. Yadier. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Dribbled to the right side. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0-2. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early Adding feel nice. for his off-speed no stuff. Field. Got him swinging on Harrison. the fastball there. Yadier Molina is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the third. Harrison Bader comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. 
Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. Change up, and he ain't buying it. One and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Anderson brings it in. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Now that is Tommy. At the plate now, Tommy Edmond. And he puts it on the ground to second. And he is out on the tag. Throw back to Rebreu. They get them both, and the side is retired. Into the box, Yohan Moncada. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Lifted down the line in left. Arenado into foul territory, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he can. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. So now into the box is Hilo Jimenez, grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. The 1-1 is taken for strike two. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first oh, down. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first. And up next, the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. As a look, now the pitch. Here's the 0 1. And this is right past Molina and back to the screen, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 1 1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. The one two is a fastball, then off the plate for a ball. I like what he was trying to do there with the two seam fastball, but that's a tough pitch to come in. When you throw it glove side like that, it's really tough to get it to come back to the corner. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three-two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Now the payoff pitch home. Runner goes for second. That's lifted the other way out to left. O'Neill is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. So there are two gone now in the White Sox oh, fourth. And one of the more prolific RBI men in the league the last few years, Jose Abreu, will bat next. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now the 1 0. Swing and a line drive, but pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. And 
And stepping in, Tyler O'Neill. He'll begin things here against Four Dallas Keuchel. The left fielder. Tyler. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, here. Change up low, 2 and 0. Oh. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Now batting, third baseman, Nolan. Here's Nolan Arenado. Fouled away. He collected a base hit his first time up. A ball and a strike. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Set. Here's the 3-1. And here's a slider that misses below the knees. It's ball four. So here's the cleanup. The first base Paul Goldschmidt trying here to plate the tying oh, run from second. First pitch of the A-B on its way. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. Popped him up. Making the play over there is Abreu for the first down. So that brings in the power hitting okay. middle infielder Paul DeYoung. The base, base knocked to the outfield could oh. score the tying run from second. Yeah. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Two and zero oh now. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And he fouls this one off. O'Neill over at second. Arenado is over at first with one away. This is foul right side. The 2 2. Freezes him. A strikeout looking. Two on, two out. And that'll bring up, up the sweet Carpenter. swinging Matt Carpenter. The dedicated hitter, Matt Carpenter. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Here's the 0-2, and a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and Leading standing the in right is the now. DH, Zach the Collins. Zach Collins. First delivery to him. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Toward short fielded cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So now to the plate, Leori Garcia struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Gotta find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Sent on the ground out to second. And there's out number two. 
At the plate the now Eaton is Adam well. Eaton. Flew Adam out last time up. Eaton. Now here's the first offering. Lays oh. off 1 and 0. Oh. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Two outs here, and the focus needs to stay sharp. You don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. 2 0 -well count, the pitch. Now a swing and a chance for Goldschmidt over at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So here is Dylan Carlson as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Here's the first pitch to him. Carlson. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Popped him up. Grandal is there. One away. So one out and nobody aboard. And here now is the catcher, Yadier Yadi Molina. Molina. Pitch on the way. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Bases are empty. One man out. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And it's fouled away. Ready with another 0 2. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's 1 and 2. Talk about frustrating as a pitcher. You make a great pitch like that, and the guy just lays off of it. That barely missed the zone. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Base is now empty, two away, and into bat next, Harrison. one of the fastest players in all Bader. of baseball, Harrison Bader. First delivery to him. Hey, he's close to having another quick inning right there with two quick outs. He's been very economical with his pitches, and if he continues to go like this, the bullpen might get a day off. Waiting on it is Jimenez. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. Sixth about to get started and coming forward now is the shortstop the Tim shortstop. Anderson. Tim Anderson. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Bader is right there, one down. Next to hit, Luis Robert. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Trying to jam him with the first pitch slider, but it's in a bit too tight for ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Oh. 3 and 0 oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. 
hard liner to center field. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. Now back third base. Next to bat will be the Cuban import Yon Moncada. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball 1 and 0. Inner third let go. It's a called strike. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And able to lay off the fastball the way here. 2 and 1 now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, two and two now. And now time is called for and granted by home plate umpire Clyde Washington. Working for the punch out and the offering. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Runners on the move for second. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Edmund makes the catch, and now they might be able to double them off at first. And they get the double play. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Tommy Edmund. He struck out and bounced into a double play in his first two at bats. Edmund. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. The wind up and the 0 1. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Digging in will be Tyler O'Neill. One for two on his line so far in the game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Popped him up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. So two gone now in the St. Louis half of the sixth. And in next, it'll Nolan. be the perennial MVP candidate, right, third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Hard hit toward the hole. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Now that the first baseman, Paul. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt as the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. The 1-1 one, one is strike two swinging. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Tackle pauses and the pitch. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next to be the outfielder, Eloy Jimenez. Eloy Jimenez. Mm -hmm. 
Jordan Hicks is on to pitch now from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 12, Jordan Hicks. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Three and two. And now, in advance of a big three and two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Next to stand now in back. is Yosmani Grandal. He flew out in his last yeah, AB. Yeah. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. And 2 0 oh now as this misses below the knees. Side three and oh now. Here it comes. Gets him to swing over the top of that one. Three and one. Sinker misses ball four. So a runner at first now with one away and one of the more prolific RBI men in the league the last few years Jose Abreu will bat next. From the belt kicks and deals snap throw from the catcher. Again down to second. Billy Hamilton please. will be summoned now, now to be the pinch runner. The White Sox. Number zero. One Billy run, two hits, Hamilton. and no errors so far for the White Sox. Now a good pitch on the inside part of the plate ties him up, and it's one and one. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo, up and in. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Here now the 2 2. Another try to third. Look out, there goes Hamilton. But he won't draw a throw. That's taken for ball four, and it's first and second now with one away. Designated hitter. Next to dig yeah. in, Zach Collins. Over oh. two on his line thus far. Ladies and gentlemen, 
your attention, please. So they'll go to the bullpen now, now and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Tyler. Well. Andrew Vaughn will get the call to pinch hit here, and they'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. First pitch on its way. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit it and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and making some good pitches. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. Now that Up next, Leori Garcia. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Nick Madrigal will get the nod from his skipper to pinch hit, and he'll do so in a big spot. Base is loaded, only one away. First pitch on its way. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. And now a crucial spot. Now Base is loaded. Right Two men gone. Adam. And the next to bat is Speedy Adam Eaton. Urban Mercedes. We called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. Mercedes. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch sends that one out of play for strike one. He's looking to deliver here with the bases loaded and two out in the inning. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. Carlson is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Last half of the seventh here, and set to go is the second baseman, Paul DeYoung. Though you're only down one right here, but the exploding stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' bullpens. I mean, just north of 95 plus, stuff diving all over the plate. It's gotten a lot tougher to scratch across runs against these teams' bullpens. One and one the count. And now pitch on the way. One and two now. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. Fouled off. The next one two pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Up next Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter. It's been an 0 for 2 Matt. effort for him to this point. Carpenter. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. One out, nobody on. 
right side and right into the shift. He's got it. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the back over there, and that's out number two. Digging in next, Dylan Carlson popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, but everything looked clean. He was on time. He looked powerful in the box. I guarantee you he wants that swing back. He's still thinking about it as he walks to the plate right here. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. High in the air out to center field. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. All set for the start of the inning. And up next, it'll be Tim Anderson. The shortstop, Tim Anderson. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh, one count, here's the pitch. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. And it's two balls and a strike for Tim Anderson. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for wrap number one. The next batter will be Luis Robert. Luis Robert. He's set. Here it comes. Bases are empty. One man out. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. And oh, he definitely broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside, and it's strike two. Here now, the two two. Hot shot down the line. Arenado has it. And that's the second out. So here's Juan Moncada. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Now here's the first offering. Two out, nobody on. That's taken. Now it's 0 2. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. De Young will put this one away, and the side is retired. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. Leading up for the Cardinals, the catcher, Yadier. Cody oh, Hoyer is on to pitch out of Ladies the bullpen in the bottom You're half right, of the eighth. Please. Now pitching for the White Sox, number 65, Cody Hoyer. Here it comes. That finds the zone, a cold strike. 
When you're hitting at the bottom of the order, you better be keyholed in the middle of the plate. You cannot allow pitches like that to go by. Molina swings and misses. He's in trouble now behind 0 and 2. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. Yeah. One out. So that'll bring in Harrison, Harrison Bader. It was a fly out Bader. for him in his last trip. And a fastball's in there for strike one. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0 oh, oh, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. And it's another K. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. Now batting. And now back Good to the stop. leadoff spot in the Tommy. St. Louis lineup. Stepping in, That's Tommy right. Edmond. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. Digging hard. He's headed for third. The relay. And he's going to make it to third safely. And there's your tying run at third now with two away. The left field. Tyler. Into the box now. Tyler O'Neill has the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. This one's down to third. Mokata gloves it. And they'll escape danger here after the two out triple as the inning is over. Cleanup hitter for the White Sox, Eloy Jimenez, struck right? out in his last trip to the plate. Eloy Jimenez. Giovanni Gallegos is called upon, and it's not for his usual role, just hoping to keep the deficit at one here. Giovanni Gallegos. From the stretch, Gallegos is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. The 2 1. Is in there for strike number two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Here now the 2 2. Hit hard, but right into the shift. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now with the plate is Billy Hamilton as he'll dig Billy. into the left handed batter's box. And for me this is the side he looks more fluid from a little more control in his swing and it seems to lead to more consistent contact than from the right side. Fastball well outside. Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at one and one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Hit the target but this is low two and one. Here it comes. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate and easy take there and it's three and one now. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. The first base. Okay. The blue. First offering. Runners off for second. Pitch inside the throw. And it'll be right on the bag as Molina nails him trying to swipe second. One or no delivery. And 
and he'll try to check his swing here but he'll have no such luck it's strike one. Just off the outside that time laid off for a ball. Andrew Vaughn would be next. The 3 1 pitch. Bonnie bailed him out with a swing three and two now. I'm sure every pitcher on the staff could use an extra run right here. I know the bases are empty and there's two outs but stay on the attack. Get a guy on first base. You never know you get something going and string a few across. Struck him out so it remains a one run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. Striding in is Nolan Arenado. He's got hits in both go. of his at bats so far in this one. The third baseman, Nolan. Third baseman Arenado. hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0 0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Well, there's the classic 0 2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. So now it'll be the, the four hole hitter, hitter Paul Goldschmidt. No hits in three Paul tries Smith. so far. He's struck Your out once. Liam Hendricks now, comes on here looking to get the final two Number outs and one. earn the save. Liam. First pitch of the A.B. now. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. This at bat's going to be absolutely epic because now he's mixing it up. He's got a little cat mouse working and as an offensive player you got to step out of the box and say all right he's respecting me a little bit. I can't be all in fastball. Here's the 0 and 2. Hard liner to center field and Goldschmidt's aboard. It's a base hit. Paul DeYoung. So Paul DeYoung digs in next. Hard liner towards short, and that'll get down for a base hit. The back, the designated hitter, Matt Carpenter. Here's Matt Carpenter fouled away and we'll see what he can do with the tying run at second the potential winning run at first with one away. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there just saw an off speed pitch wanted to stay back a little bit too long. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. The Number three. Big spot Hitler. here and it'll be Dylan Carlson oh, and the game is on the line. The tying and winning runs on base with two gone in the bottom of the ninth. Now a swing and he pops him up and this should do it. Anderson is there makes the catch and the ball game is over. Wow that game flew by but that's what happens when you get a well pitched one run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. The White Sox jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Dallas Keuchel is credited tonight. with the win. The Miles Michaelis is settled with a loss after hits. giving up only no one earned. So that will bed. wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole no crew. Run. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've no been watching error. MLB.